Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, we are going to talk about service oriented architecture. So this is a continuation of the uh, software architecture videos where I was trying to talk about different architectures used in the software industry. So let's see what is service oriented architecture in this video. I am going to cover what is service oriented architecture or what is SOA along with its benefit and drawback. So let's get started. So what is a service oriented architecture? A service oriented architecture is basically a kind of design pattern where we are trying to use different services or loosely coupled services to create a complete application. So let me try to explain this SOA oriented architecture along with one application. So suppose I am a developer and I am trying to create this Uber app. So what are the things required to create one Uber app? If you see what I need is a login page. Also I need some kind of map where all the drivers and all the like customers who can see where the cars are and along with I need a payment gateway. So if I am trying to create a Uber app what I can do is I can create three services service 1, service 2 and service 3 where my service 1 is representing this Google map. The second service you can assume that this is representing my payment gateway and the third service can be representing my uh, login page for this application right. So as a developer I can create these three services by myself or I can use the already available services in the market. So for the service one what I can use is the Google map service right. So Google map is already exposed the API which we can use to, impl uh, to implement this Uber app right. Similarly if I need the payment services I can use the PayPal or I can use the Paytm to do this payment services also. Similarly for the login page I can use the Facebook or I can use any third party login like Google to create this login service right. So you can see here as if I have to create an application I have two choices. One is I can create my own services which is going to take a lot amount of time or I can use the already available services in the market which is with which the development of this application will be really fast. So this is basically my service oriented architecture. So this Uber app is basically using the Google map, the payment services and the login page from three different services and created one application. So the development of this kind of application is really very fast. So there will be some advantages and disadvantages of this service oriented architecture right. So let's first discuss what is the advantage of a service oriented architecture. If you see the biggest advantage of this service oriented architecture is the reusability of the component. Now suppose if I am going to create a new application where I need some kind of Google map I can use the same service which I was using to create my Uber app also right. So here you can see the reusability of the components is really very high. Also this kind of applications is highly scalable and also the resilient of these applications is high. Why it is highly scalable? Because if I want to uh, scale my application, I can deploy these three services on three different platforms and I can easily scale my uh, performance of the application, right? Similarly, the resilient of that application will also be very high because you can deploy the services that service one on two or three different platform or three different virtual machines and then these services can act as a backup for the other services. So if my one service is going down, the services which is running on the different VM can become active. So the components of this kind of architecture is highly reusable and it is also scalable in nature and resilient. But everything comes with a price, right? So there is some disadvantage of this service oriented architecture also. So if you see, the biggest disadvantage of the service oriented architecture is its complex design. So now if I have to create an application which is going to talk to three different services, I have to create a kind of channel between these three services so that these three services can talk to each other, right? So my application 
will be a kind of a channel which will use these three services and create some kind of synchronized me uh, messaging system between these three services. So if you see the design of this kind of uh, architecture is really complex and because this is this is more uh, because this kind of uh, application talks more on the network right so suppose if my service one has to always go and connect with the google map so the traffic will be very high in this in this kind of architecture so service one service two service three will be also talking to each other so there will be some kind of high traffic used in this kind of architecture so i hope i make this service oriented architecture simple I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel and stay connected. Till then, have a great day and goodbye.